What if I told you you could download any picture off the internet and then anything inside of that picture you could just click on and turn into a 3D model that you can then use in your game? That's a thing now. And this doesn't just work with the trees or foliage. This also works for weapons, characters, really anything that you can think of. It is now possible to go online, get a picture of literally anything, and then click on whatever you want inside of that picture to turn into a 3D model. And AI will create that model, which you can then download and put in your game. But since this entire system works based on images, this means that not only can you use images from real life, not only can you use images from games or asset packs, but you can also use fully AI generated images as well. So say for instance, if you wanted to generate a picture of a low poly soldier, you can take that AI generated image, click a few times on your screen and boom, you now have a full 3D model version of that soldier. And then, guess what? You can also use AI to fully animate that soldier as well, and then put him inside of your game. Oh yeah, can you feel the slop yet? And then you can take all of those AI-generated assets, the AI-generated trees, the AI-generated characters, the AI-generated weapons, all of it, and you can make an AI-generated map, allowing you to have a 100% AI-generated video game inside of Unreal Engine. And if you watch this video all the way through, follow me step by step, I'm going to show you how to do the exact same thing. But before we get started, if you guys want some help building an Unreal Engine 5, I highly recommend you buying the plugin that I've been developing called Revolt GPT. It is a plugin for Unreal Engine 5 that allows you to use AI inside of Unreal Engine. Not only will the AI help you write code, but it'll help you build menus. It will help you do anything that you need in order to build an entire Unreal Engine game. If you want to get that, I will have a link down in the description. I will be running a promotion for the next 24 hours. If you're a loyal subscriber and you've been here as soon as I've posted this video, you can get it for 20% off. But with all that out of the way, let's get into the full tutorial where I teach you how to basically generate every single asset that you're going to need in a game using AI. All right. So guys, I'm not going to lie. This is, um, this is crazy. So I am going to show you how you can use AI and now extract 3D models from literally any image on the internet or anywhere else for your game. Now, this is a tool called SAM3D from Meta, and they've been releasing a whole bunch of non-large language model AI tools that are really pretty cool. They have a whole site for this. I will have a link in the description for you to go and try this out yourself. A lot of their tools that they've been working on so far have been primarily meant for film and movie editing, where you can select objects and then have the camera follow that object or mask it out. But an evolution of this exact same system they have released, which now has the ability for you to just click on a freaking object in an image. And it will then take that object and turn it into a 3D model, which is insane. Now, for this test, we are utilizing this picture. This picture is actually a picture of assets for the Unity store. Now, before anybody freaks out, the creator of this asset released this for free and licensed it as CC0, which allows you to use this for AI. But I just want to kind of show this in order to demonstrate the capabilities of what this can do. So as you can see, I clicked on this object a few times to kind of show the AI which parts of this object I want to export into a 3D model. And here we go. It just created this 3D model and texture, by the way, which we will be able to download and utilize in our Unreal Engine game using the Revolt GPT map generator. But we can actually keep going and add every single object in this asset pack. And once every single one of them have been masked out and generated, we can then download every single one of them to our computer. Once they have all been downloaded, 
all we have to do is we will create our folder, call it generated models, and we will drag and drop all of the models that it generated right here into Unreal Engine. And then all we have to do is filter by static mesh and there they all are. Here is everything dragged into a scene. You can see we've got our trees, our mushroom, our rocks, everything inside of Unreal Engine. We just generated all of these assets in five minutes using a few clicks of a button on an image. That's crazy. But what we're going to do now is we don't want to just have these assets for no reason. We're actually going to use the Revolt GPT plugin, which is an AI plugin I made that allows you to generate entire maps using assets, which if you want to buy this, you can get it. Links down in the description. But here are all of the same assets. But now we have created an entire map with them also in like two minutes, uh, which is 100% AI generated. All of the textures on the ground are AI generated. I actually did a video showing you how to do that, which if you want to go watch that video, I'll put the link here. And now all of the assets are AI generated as well from us just clicking a few buttons on a picture, which is crazy. Uh, so this is just the first iteration of this that Facebook meta has released and i assure you this technology is only going to get better but you can also i mean and this is the craziest thing i mean we use this using an image of an actual asset pack and you can just click on them and export them but you can actually use this with anything not just trees not just environment assets but here is a picture of also cc0 licensed assets that i got a picture from using google and i can literally just click on these and make new weapon static meshes from a single image that has a collection of different weapons inside of a single image with just a couple of clicks of a button. You can then simply download these, throw them inside of Unreal Engine, and now you have your very own custom weapon mesh. But we're gonna take this a little bit further. We're gonna right click on this and inside of Unreal Engine, we're going to automatically create the skeletal mesh for these. And then we are just gonna drag that skeletal mesh into our pistol, which comes with the base Unreal Engine demo. We're gonna go look for the pistol. And there we go. There is our 100% AI generated pistol. I mean, no real advanced animations or anything that we just created by clicking a picture, importing into Unreal Engine and dragging into the weapon slot for our asset. This is a thing now, guys. This is real. But here's the real kicker. Not only can you use this with images of other assets that you want to maybe convert into your own, but it also works with literally any image. And that also means it works with AI generated images as well. So for instance, I just had ChatGPT generate me this completely new image of a low poly soldier character. And we're going to upload this character, and then we are going to select the areas of the character that we want it to turn into a 3D model. And the interesting thing about this is you can actually selectively generate each part of the character if you wanted to. So you could have a separated head, separated arm, separated torso. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple, and we are going to just generate this entire character's body. And there we go. Now we have a fully functional, fully fleshed out, low poly soldier character for our game. But unlike a tree, we're gonna have to do a little bit more in order to make this soldier character actually be able to move and be usable inside of Unreal Engine. So let's use AI and let's do that next. And for that, we're going to be using something called AccuRig, which is an AI powered rigging tool where you can just simply place down all of these independent points on where you think the joints are for the character and AI will handle the rest and generate a fully functional animated version of your AI character. How cool is that? And once we have our character rigged, all we have to do is import him in, set him as the skeletal mesh for the enemy character, and look at that. 
There he is, our AI-generated character working, running around, and fully animated in Unreal Engine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you are interested in this kind of technology or if you're interested in getting links for anything that I've shown in this video, I will be putting links down in the description as well as links to some of the AI tools that I am making and our Discord community if you want to join that and be a part of all of the research related to these projects that are being released and all of the new ways that people are finding to create video games. I think that the coming years are going to be absolute insanity and things are going to be changing more than ever, but I am here for it and I am here to show you guys all of the different tools and how you can use them. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.